and welcome back everybody to episode 15 of our Bithynia Let's Play on the DLC Wrath of Sparta campaign with the overhaul mod Dimitrios Perakloikis. Welcome guys, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. I'm recording this the Tuesday beforehand, obviously, and where we last left off, we have a battle to actually do. Um, got lots of mercenaries, lots of low tier units. Uh, Auto Resolve says we should have this in the bag. But we're going to start today's victory, or today's episode, off with a battle. Because I feel like it. Going to make good use of those slingers and the mercenaries. Because our actual troops, the spear line we have, uh, probably is garbage. They could handle maybe the militia hoplites, but those pikemen and uh, professional hoplites would be a no-go. So their job is going to be to protect the slingers. While we let everybody else do the hard work. Slingers. Yeah, slingers down center, supported by them. And we'll put the infantry on the left, cavalry on the right, the general in the center. We haven't seen these guys yet. Yeah, that yeah, that's as I predicted. Just basically, just like your everyday spear and shield unit. Nothing too fancy. Over here, you got the Hippias. Citizens who fight on horse. Over here, trillions. Looking cool. Then, obviously, the uh, mercenary hoplites. Or uh, veteran hoplites, I believe. That's what they, what these guys are. Looking all cool. Alright, let's get into it. And uh, march. Just oh, it looks like they're coming for us. They're going to come for us, and they're going to meet their doom quicker than I anticipated. There's some pick top lights here. Lots of pikemen. Lots of pikes. Once we deal with their skirmishing, we'll focus down the pikemen. Alrighty. We'll speed this bad boy up here. We can probably tell the cavalry to already go around the sides here. See what they do. They're reorganizing. They have given up. There we go. Have the slingers target. Target that unit. We'll have the cavalry ready to make advantage of this. Actually, target the s target their range. Don't be an idiot. Going this way. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Try and move in that way. Ooh. Yep, fight the hoplites. We can move the cab in. Go around them. Yeah, these pikes are going to be deadly. But yeah, we should make quick work of this. these units here. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the pikes are a deadly, deadly weapon, especially against our faction, as our faction has no access to pikemen. Alright, we don't need all of you. Right into the back of them. 
That was a good little charge there. Knocked a lot of them down and killed. Uh, good few, good few. Pull these guys out. Oh, we're gonna break. We're breaking. Let's go A this unit. Hit this glob of pikemen. Yeah, these pikes are using their formations really well. Right into them. I really hope we don't lose this. It'd be kind of shit if we did. Like the pikemen are not breaking though. Let's just pull the cavalry out entirely before they break. Yeah, we are not. I mean, we did not do too pretty. Try and target that unit. Alrighty. Okay, go for them. Pull back out of that. Broke them there. Kill that skirmisher unit real quick. And yeah. Focus on the units that we know we can kill. Oh, keep running. I'm sorry, this is not the most uh, cool battle to watch. But uh, this is actually an important flank that we don't need to lose. Uh, we do need to secure this side, but don't want to make it an entire cakewalk. Aid him. Their general's about to break. Uh, yep, we're shooting them down. Our general's still fighting. Cavalry around here, their army's routing. Oh, thank god. Okay, cool. For a second, I thought we were actually gonna lose that. We definitely lost way more men than we should have, but, um, might as well give the pikemen the credit. They're devastating enemies on the battlefield, and as I suspected, our uh, spearmen did not do good at all. Those mercenary hoplites really got torn up, too. Alrighty. Yep, go ahead and kill them. He leveled up, so we might as well give it to him. Or the army did, sorry. No, 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 this is the general, never mind. Uh, uh, law keeper. Let's go ahead and merge these units. Get rid of that unit. Merge these guys. Merge the cav. Okay, so we don't got a lot of money left, so we can't actually get anything, but that army is gone. And there's no need to push it, so we're not gonna. Um, go for another one of them. These guys are expensive. But they're kind of needed, considering we accidentally, or quite on purpose, destroyed all of our military buildings in the east. As I didn't think we'd need them. I'm an idiot. But, uh, it's alright. Details, details. Got a navy there that we're working on. Got one there. Let's look at our objectives. So we've got the naval units, the military units we still need to work on. Why are we still suffering attrition? Oh, we didn't end our turn yet to where we fixed that problem. That sucks. Yeah, we're going to take attrition for sure. 
unless can we oh wait no we're doing that aren't we yeah we're we're not taxing Macedonia all right let's end the turn and deal with the attrition I guess big naval engagements going on interesting to see Empress does seem to be bringing up a another army as well if you saw that near um I believe the Lorisa. Don't know why I said it that way, but agents are starting to cause problems as always, hindering our movement and our men. I think she was successful. Yeah, it looks like that was a big Empress army, actually. Wow. Get through all the agents. It is our no, we're not doing that. We actually need to take that if we want to win eventually. Alrighty. Uh, just send an envoy. Uh, why did a plague break out here? Why in the world? Actually, wait a minute. No, why in the world did it break out here? We had sanitation. Or I thought we did. Hmm. Squalor is negative four. Why? Well, I guess I'm just a fool, it seems. Go ahead and get a religious building then, I guess. I thought, I swear we had positive sanitation there. Oh well. Either way, this army needs to get marching. This one is he heading to Arnisa to claim it. This one really needs time to replenish since it's our main force. We can grab the cavalry here once we're ready to move. I don't necessarily know if that's anytime soon, but we're going to wait on that. I would like to kill him. Thank you. Good job, pal. Uh, let's give him the arson ability and then cutting. And then there we go. Next up is one of you two. We're coming for you. We're gonna kill you. Alright, now we're here. Same situation. They only need cav. This guy, though, literally has no military recruiting whatsoever. as a possibility, but... We do definitely need that settlement. It'll give us armor upgrades. And it does let us kind of see closer to Empress's, uh primary province, which is right here. But they do have a army. They have an army somewhere. I know it's... I don't know where it's gone, though. It's not up this way, unless it's, like, right here. Which would be scary, but... Our ally, Athens, is suffering a wee bit, as uh, they can't handle Conion and the uh, Empress handing them some heavy blows. Especially with their... Probably at war with Sparta as well. Athens is... Um, pretty on it. It's on its way out, I would say. <laughs> but uh, that is not our problem. So over here, we'll move you up there. I didn't even realize we recruited another agent there. So our goal, kind of worry about down here. They are raiding our region now, which is a bit more upsetting. Man, I really shouldn't have destroyed all the military buildings. That was so dumb of me. Um, only thing I could think of getting rid of would be the farming out of Sardis. Because I think that's not offering too much. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of that and we'll get a military recruiting building so we can actually get some proper troops to hold the border here. Because I doubt that's their only attempt. Greetings. Yeah, they, they want us they want us bad. So we're going to have to be careful about that. We're going to have to watch them. Meanwhile, I think we're done with this turn. We don't got a lot of cash to spend, so we're not going to spend any of it. So we're just going to end our turn and wait.
Macedon seems to be continuously throwing uh, transport ships at proper Isomach's navies. This is a... Uh, I've tried it. It's not a good idea. <laughs> we lost our entire fleet to one of their proper navies, so I mean... Transports alone are not going to do anything. Oh yeah, he just mopped them up. Damn. The enemy we will not be joining your wars, Athens. We do not want to lose more than we already have. Fighting Empress alone in the north is going to be hard anyways. Oh, little guy. The games are over. Oh, this general leveled up. How nice. Uh, let us go for... Uh... Let's do... Melee skill. Or melee attack, sorry. Construction's done in Pella. We now have proper buildings. Which is good. We need them. Meanwhile, you... 16%, go for it. Oh, you got wounded. Oh, you suck. How about you? 15%, give it a shot. Hey, you wounded him. That's okay. This guy's a good killer. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but he is. He's a good killer. Uh, let's go for that authority. Alrighty, so what do we want to do here? They have not pushed us anymore. The only big question is, where is that big army at? Because we know it exists. It's somewhere. But I just don't know where. It went off this way, I think. Okay, though. No time to dilly-dally. We should probably take the big army and go north. This force here can attack. Can we hit it this turn? No. So head just right there. And let's get... We've already got cavalry, so... The mercenaries would be cool. Get some mercenaries in here. Or we could just recruit more of our own men. Um... Four hoplites, three warriors, two swords. Uh, I'm debating. Peltus might actually be nice. Yeah, go for the two Peltus. Because uh, they're decent in melee, right? Yeah, they're decent in melee. Not that good, but not that good compared to our troops um, at all. But uh, they have javelins, and working against spearmen or um, hoplites and pikemen... Probably going to be really handy to have that, actually. This force, however, we need... They already have the Peltus, so that's good. Staunch line of spears and swords. They are the ones that need the cavalry. However, the cavalry are expensive. Hmm. How is it looking down here in the south? Uh, that army ran. Well, that's good. I'm glad we don't have to deal with that. Uh, go for that. It'll give us an extra garrison. Two extra garrisons. And it'll actually let us get some real troops. Which we desperately need. Especially on this side. Alrighty. So where else? So what are we doing? What are we doing? Minus one food. Can we start taxing this province again? Tax. No, we cannot. Okay, so don't tax them. We need to do something about that. We need to have... Oh, we can just get a fishing port here. Yeah, yeah, get a fishing port at Tyrone. Or Tyrone. I don't actually know how you say it, but... Get a fishing port there. Okay. Doing good. We're out of money, so... We're going to have to wait. Another intern, perhaps? Yes. Sorry if you want to hear me drinking. I uh, know it's unprofessional, but oh well. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well after that sentence there. Promise I care about the quality of my videos. Hey, she died on her own. That's good. <laughs> we don't have to kill her. I definitely think that in this episode we're going to take Arena and, uh, nope, definitely not that, and, uh, Dios, I think that's what it was called. Securing, almost securing all of Pella. Or all of Macedonia. 
Can you not see? Why would I want a military Together, alliance with you? Could be nigh I mean, I'll take the money, I guess. But man, we joined um, the losing side. Well, it's not really losing too much right now since we own the north. But uh, let's take that. We won't be fighting this. Because there is no need. And we're going to raise it to the ground. Repair that. And then get us... Okay. So... Oh, it gives us... um. Well, that's cool. Gives us access to uh, militia hoplites, I think. And uh, Greek slingers. That's cool. I like that. Uh, now, we want food in this province, for sure. Do we take the cav? I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, sure, why not? Take the cavalry, too. Macedonia is a big province, meaning it should be a recruitment center, honestly. We're going to need more mobile forces, especially to deal with the pikemen. Now, grab this army here. Okay, we see that one. Let's scout it out before we send our army into a death trap. It's clean, clear to go. Probably want to get... Nah, let's wait. Take it without the cavalry. We're going to auto-resolve this. Because once again, no need. Beautiful. And we're going to raise it to the ground. And yeah, we'll repair it, sure. And then get you another fo food. I almost said Ford. Um, and let's go for another religious shrine. Oh, I forgot. Oh, these only take food, actually. They don't actually, they don't take, uh, squalor. This one does, but, uh, we'll have to deal with it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Hmm. Okay, now that we took that, Macedonia is almost completely ours. All that remains is, yeah, our ghosts over here. Argos Aresti, which is a gold mine, it looks like. You can tell because of the glistening gold. Once we secure that, Macedonia is ours. All of ours. And that is a benefit to us. We definitely, I think, want a military-related shrine over here. Missile. Is there not a military? There might not be a military. I know there's a few missile ones here, but it doesn't look like there's anything related to the military when it comes to shrines. Other than the missiles. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, if that's the case, then we should probably just go for this. The uh, culture needs to be swapped up here pretty fast anyways. Alright, so we're out of money again. Over here, one more turn until that's complete. Hopefully they don't attack us. Hopefully we hold. Rather not lose any land, because we only need this last province here, and six more region or six more settlements, and a few, quite a few more military, or um, quite a few more troops, but nothing too severe. And uh, we can actually call him victory, which is really surprising, because it's not been a it's been a very fast ca fast paced campaign. Uh, you forget how small the Wrath of Sparta campaign map actually is, especially in the north, like here, like very small. Nothing to do with the mod; it's the the DLC. Like all of Myasia is, you know, massive. But meanwhile, you know, it does focus. The original DLC does focus on the Greek wars, so a lot of cities are actually over here in Greece. So it makes up for it, I guess, uh, depending on what you're using. But, and eh, details, details. Still cool. If there is if there is one DLC, though, I cannot recommend enough. It is the, other than obviously the Imperial Augustus and then like Empire Divided. I don't actually remember if Empire Divided is free or if it was a free update, but if it is, definitely that one. Doesn't really count as DLC though, but if it's not, that one. The enemy casts a shadow over uh, but after that, for official DLC that I know costs money, Rise of the Republic.
pretty, that is one of the coolest DLCs. That one, then Hannibal at the Gates, and so on and so forth. Oh, we have a hero. That's cool. Bersidus. Alright, Agent has recovered as well. Don't know where he's at. Don't see him. Looking around. Looking around. Oh, there he is. Oh, I didn't mean to go up there. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see if he can wake up and do some damage. Hey, he did. Good job. All right. So with that secured, can we take Argos? It will take more than one turn. Public order, though, is looking fine. We can't see anything in that region. We don't have enough to upgrade our troops there, but we will go for Argos next turn. Our spy definitely needs to scout ahead, because while that army is not scary, because it's just a general, the 20 stack that is somewhere in the Fog of War is, especially if we handle it alone. Because like I said, our armies are not good against pikes. Not too good anyways. So we're trying to adapt to that as well. Over here in the south, though, the military building did get finished. So probably honestly want to recruit troops. Not really worry too much about... Um, ooh, 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 which one would be more worth it? Actually, cavalry for sure. So get rid of them. Our income goes up quite a bit. And we're going to get one more intern in before the end of the episode. These ones always go by super fast. Our enemies. Uh, in a minute. <laughs> in a minute we will join your war. Agents are going about us. That's fine. It's okay. No need to panic. She died. Cool. Empress is staying away. It's interesting. I wonder where their main army is because they do have one. We know they do, so. We would be what might be happening is Empress sent it back to its capital region and it's heading for the Argos Aristic. I can't say it really, but the Argos uh, region. I'm just saying no to all these. There's no reason to get into more wars. Most of Greece already hates us. Hey, this old, old lady. Um, honestly, is there anything that you actually need? I mean, I guess. I, I guess authority, sure, why not? Don't really know if that's worth it or not, but oh well. Yeah, I, get, I bet the, that big army has traveled back around to its capital region and is maybe making its way up here. Speaking of, we're going to take this before the end of the episode. Securing Macedonia is the name of this. Or uh, if, it, if I remember to name it, that's what this is going to be called. Securing Macedonia. And it's lucrative gold mines. Here we go. There you go. Macedonia is secured. And uh, the war with Empress wages on, and we can actually see their cities now. So we've got two right there, and then obviously two right there. And their capital, I think, is that one. It looks like it. Unless it's somewhere else. But either way, though. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go down here. And. Get me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No. Okay. And then let's go back over here real quick. I'm zooming around the map. Sorry. Did that already upgrade? It did. But we want that one. I think we want the better melee cap. Go for the food. Oh, wait. No, wait. Yeah, we got plenty of food now, so we're going to start taxing Macedonia. Bang. Making more money now. And uh, public order ain't too happy that just because we took a settlement. All right, now we can end the video. So if you enjoyed today's video, like always, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Tick the notification button if you'll be notified when I post videos like this, along with my other series, which I do recommend you all check out if you enjoy this one. Uh, but without further ado, hope you all have a great Wednesday, hope you all have a great week, and this is Spartan, signing off.